Oh my, is it Friday already? Yeah, I'm doing Friday reads. Anyway, I'm going to share with you what I'm currently reading and what I hope to pick up next week. So my audiobook I am currently reading because my Discovery Book Challenge chose this book and I am listening to The Diviners by Libra Bray. I am almost finished. I have four hours left of this book. Uh, yeah, I'm all the way back there. I am on page 465. Yeah, it's this book is a hit or miss for me. Um, it started out really, really good, and then it drops down and gets very boring, and then it gets very good, then it goes back and forth. So it's like a hit and miss for me. Um, if I had to rate it now, right now, it would probably be a three star. I am going to finish it. Four hours left on audio. Yeah, so this is this one. So that's that. Okay, so I have a nonfiction book that I'm reading. Um, having a lot of issues in my life right now, mostly my daughter, um, but I am reading two nonfiction books. Actually, I'm going to start one, and I'm reading one. One from the library, I have The Book of Joy. Um, I am enjoying this. Um, I'm re picking this off every once in a while when I want to read something nonfiction. Um, I am on page 148, so I am tracking through it it's very slowly, but it is um, large print, so I am enjoying the quotes. There's lots of great quotes in here, so yeah, so I'm reading this one. So the thing that I'm dealing with my daughter, um, I am going to be picking up this book, uh, and I am going to be reading boundaries with teens I'm having some issues of saying no to things and so I'm hoping that this one will help me this is by Dr. John Townsend uh, when to say yes and how to say no so I'm hoping that this will be helpful for me I don't know I do have a bookmark I did start reading it I'm on page 22 so I'm hoping to continue reading this one okay back to fiction <laughs> the fiction book that was chose for me for my discovery challenge was this one and I am actually using it for my third book of my uh, around the year in 52 books so I'm using it for both challenges I am reading this one I'll give you the sun by uh, Jandy Nelson okay so how am I feeling about this book? Hmm. Let's see. I'll tell you how far I am. <laughs> I am up to page 100. So, yeah. Um, I was hoping to like this more than everybody because this book is very, very hyped. Uh, this book has lots of inappropriate language, which I don't like. Um, and it also, uh, is dealing with, I think, um, um, I think it is dealing with gay, but I'm not sure. It's about a boy and a girl who are twins and somehow they get in a fight and they are separated, but I think the boy is gay. But I'm not sure because it's, it just hints to it. And the sexual content in this one that I don't think I would let my kids read yet. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> so that's this one. I am, en I am enjoying it. I am reading it. I am an adult. I understand it. But this should be a YA book. And a lot of people like this book. Uh, yeah, I'm having some difficulties with, uh, I guess... I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to read it on because I do like reading about twins and multiples. So yeah, so that's this one. Okay. I just got back from the library. The library called me. I picked up a graphic novel and it looks so cute and pretty and I might read this one. I don't know what challenge I'm going to use it for, uh, but it looks very short and the book that I picked up was Beautiful Darkness. It looks really cute and um, the images inside is really cute. Look at that. 
So I think this might be a fast read, and I'm hoping to read this and see if I if I like it or not. So yeah, so this and, and it's short. Look how short it is. I hope to read this during the weekend and uh, get it off my TBR. So so that's this one. Okay, so starting on Monday. Uh, Monday is when I try to switch books. I'm trying to do the year of, around the year in 52 books. Um, yeah, I'm trying to do that and I'm trying to do it in order. So on week four is read a book that doesn't have an E in it. So the three books that I chose for this one that I have right here. Okay. The three books that I chose, I don't know which one I'm going to pick up, but I, I think I'm leaning towards one because my audiobook is ending and I have the audiobook for one of these three books. So, uh, <laughs> so the three books, the book that I have the audio on is Hollow City, which is book two. My daughter already read it. It is kind of damaged because she brought it to school. Yeah. <laughs> So I have not read this yet, and I have the audiobook for this, so I might pick this one up after I finish Diviners and count this was as my uh, week four read. So that's this one. The other two choices I have are Poison Study and Do Not Disturb, which is book two of a really good book that I liked. Uh, um, uh, the Girl in 6E. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be picking these up, but these are my choices. So those two. And my discovery book for, for week three, which was last Sunday, the book that was chosen for me to read is this one, Kindred, um, so by Octavia E. Butler. So I might pick this one up as well. This might be my physical read and this one might be my audio book so yeah so that's what i'm leaning towards so i'm hoping uh to read those and see um, i'm trying to keep along on the year on both challenges i'm trying to read two books a week so yeah it's hard to when you're a mood reader it's very hard to stick and but these are my choices so i just wanted to let you know so yeah so i'm gonna finish diviners definitely um and i'll give you the sun i'm still reading so i'm hoping to read that one this weekend and this graphic novel i hope to count for something so yeah so anyway thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this i hope you're reading and enjoy your week talk to you soon bye